Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we're going to answer is what's in the box in regard to this package that I received from the op, USA Opoly. They sent me a copy, a review copy of Harry Potter Hogwarts Battles, the Charms and Potions expansion, which is what this is. This is the second expansion for Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, the deck building legacy style or campaign style card game, also from the op. Note, you do not need to own the first expansion, which is something like the Monstrous Book of Monsters. I personally don't own that. You don't require that to be able to use this box. Now, what this contains is some kind of new charm board, um, some new encounters, but the biggest one is a new hero playing board. Ginny Wesley, Weasley sorry, joins the team. You can now play the game with five players. What I don't know is if you can only play this part of the game with five players or if you can retroactively go back and play the original game with five players. I don't know if I'll be able to figure that out during this unboxing video or not. Um, it does also include four new books. So you get four new books in this box to expand on your game of Harry Potter's Hogwarts Battle. Now, before I get to opening this up, I just want to point you towards tabletopbellhop.com. That is our webpage where we feature all kinds of gaming content with unboxing videos like these, actual play videos, reviews, and answers to people's gaming and game night questions. Because we're trying to be a dear Abby for gamers. We want to answer your gaming and game night questions, which you can send to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. And then over on tabletopbellhop.com, you can see our answers to people's game night questions like, what are some really heavy games that are actually simpler to learn than I thought? That's a topic we covered recently. Other than that, just make sure you hit subscribe, ding that bell, hit follow, thumbs up, like, do all that stuff that content creators like me love to see. The other thing that we like even better is if we head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and we notice that patron number goes up. That helps pay for things like the new camera we're using tonight and our nice green screen effect we got going on that we just started today, thanks to, um, in part, to our Patreon supporters. All right, enough about that. We're going to get, let's see what's in this box. First, though, I'm going to cut the shrink. And then the other thing the op has been doing with these Harry Potter games, and I don't know exactly why, is they're all coming with a sleeve around the outside edges of them. So that's what the white is you can see here. So we're going to remove that too before I tip the camera down. Oh, bad place to put the X-Acto knife. And these sleeves are not easy to get off. So again, I don't know. It, it's it's some kind of rebranding. They decided Harry Potter needs to be white and not brown. I have no idea why they've got this new sleeves on everything. So there's this sleeve, which I don't see any reason anyone would need to keep. And now we're going to tip it down and take a look at what's in this box. So here you have the Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, the Charms and Potions expansion box. It does note it's a cooperative deck building game. Just got the Harry Potter. It looks like a trunk, which of course fits with the branding that was of the original game. We'll see if the inside of the trunk even has, uh, looks like there's stuff in it. Like the original. No, we just jumped right to instructions for a little vertical. That is a thick, solid book. It's, it's a um, thick card. Like it's, it's got an, like a soft cover book cover on it. It's a nice touch. So we have the objectives listed on the overview, jumping right into gameplay setup. Full details of the rules, the new boards, which I saw are something new with this with the charms. Uh, and then a list of other products. So more stuff from Potterverse. So we are looking at only seven pages of rules for this expansion, which I'm assuming based on the original game, there's gonna be new stuff we're gonna add as we open the various books are going to give us more rules to add, which is also kind of explains the thick card to be able to hold that. So we have the new hero board, because we're adding a new character. We have a whole bunch of little tokens here and a new heart. So we'll take a look at those a little closer. So coins and a heart. The heart obviously to track health for the new character. So we have a whole bunch of new coins. Two-sided, they are cardboard and a heart token. That's the only Ziploc bag I've got in here. So one of the problems with doing an unboxing for a game like this is I don't want to spoil anything. So we're not going to have a lot to look at here. What we 
have here are the new charm boards. I don't know why there are so many. Holy cow. Oh, they're all different. Interesting. I had no clue. I, th I These looked like they were all the same thing. So this one says cheering. You can see them here. Ah, there we go. We'll just pile them up here. So we have cheering, which has a bunch of different charms. Summoning. Hover. Defensive. Undetectable extension. Permanent sticking. That sounds bad. Healing. Protean. Apparition. And men melancholy. I don't know the rules, so I don't know exactly what these are going to do. But we have a stack of these new charm boards. A significant stack of them, which fit nicely right in the box. So I guess a fairly solid box insert for what we have so far. Um, getting those back in. There you go. And then we have pack one, two, three, four. We're going to take a quick look at pack one. Because we have to assume at this point you played the game enough to get to pack one. We'll take a quick look in pack one, but I'm not going to touch anything else. Pack one would be your starting. So we have new locations. We have a series of those. Unfortunately, the color on these is mostly blue, so I don't think I can throw them onto um, my card down here. There's Ginny's card. So we'll try to, yeah, see the blues on those, unfortunately, are not going to show up well. Cornelius Fudge. Hensi Parkinson. So we have some new villains. Marcus Flint. There's the Ginny card. That one we should be able to see. And a horse Patronus, which unfortunately we can't summon the Patronus due to blue screening. Also in pack one, we have a bunch of new events, which we'll throw down quickly. They're all new Dark Arts cards. Okay, those are not blue. Come on. There we go. Some new encounters. Interestingly, these are in sleeves, but it's a... Uh, just a plastic sleeve with it that doesn't seal. We have new spell cards that again were from pack one. Some are duplicates. Well, you're gonna have your basic cards correct, right? Yeah, for Ginny. So that would be Ginny's basic deck right there. So the interesting ones to note are an ally, Arnold. A Nimbus 2000 and a Back Boogie Hex. Then we have a significant stack of new market cards. We have a bunch of Barn Owls. Unfortunately, these are mostly blue, so we'll just flip through them out here. Some Ally cards. Unfortunately, due to the blue, I won't be able to throw them under. This one we can throw under here so you can just get an idea what the cards look like. We'll just go through those over here. New spells. And that would be it for box one. To see pack two, you're going to have to pick this up and play through and beat pack one. Note they say pack instead of book. So I have to assume at this point they're not based on any... Um, official canon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this back into pack one here. So actually it looks like these should have been in a slid sliding pack as well. Slide everything back into pack one. Now I'm sure you can see this on the video, but you'll note the pack two is just as big as pack one. Three and four are a little smaller. A spot to toss this. Spot to toss new boards. Board. Rolls on top. And there you have it. There you have what you get with the Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle.
the Charms and Potions expansion from the off, the second expansion for Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Again, this is um, not a standalone expansion. You do need to own Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, but you don't need to own Monsters Box for Monsters. The big thing this does is it introduces being able to play five players. Again, I don't know if that's with this, um, only with the, with the new scenarios in this box or from the original game. I didn't see anything that quickly indicated that when I did the unboxing. You are getting four new chapters, four new boxes to play through. Looks pretty solid. If you're a fan of the original game, I'm going to assume this is probably worth picking up. Uh, for me, I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, I haven't finished the original series with my daughter, so we're going to sit through and we're going to play through the original before we crack this one open. But when I do, I will be sharing my thoughts at our blog, tabletopbellhop.com, as well as on our YouTube, youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop. Just tabletopbellhop, one word, everywhere. You should be able to find me pretty easily. So that's it for tonight. Um, I would like to thank you for joining. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, ding that bell so you get notifications whenever we go live or whenever we post new videos. Thank you very much for joining me. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.